And we are in full swing for the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. Yeah, today downtown Houston getting ready to be transformed for the Rodeo Parade. Always an exciting time of the year. That music is going to be I with know. us for a long time, right? <laughs> KPRC 2's Will Robert Logan. Now, of course, last week he was oh. the Mardi Gras King. Now he's the parade champion. Go ahead on, Roy. Look at you, Real Juan. Look at you, Stalin. All right now. Hey, good morning, Severe Cambra. I like it. I am the parade king. That's a beautiful ring to my ears. Hey, we are in McKinney, where some of the parade floats are being stored. I want to give a quick shout out to the University of Houston's Alumni Association for this nice, impressive one. So this is a quick sneak peek of, of the float before it rolls later this morning at 10 o'clock. Now, if you're planning on coming down, we want to show you how and what to be prepared for for the parade itself. Here's a taking a look at the map of the route itself. The route begins at Bagby and Walker. Now, streets travel from Travis to Bell Streets and from Bell Street to Louisiana Street before turning on Lamar Streets, ending at Lamar and Bagby. Now, the parade begins at 10 o'clock, but there will are already some road closures and more to come. The main closures to really be aware of are the ones around the parade route itself. So really familiarize yourself with it. It's then 830, even more closures. Now, it was a sight to see yesterday with horses and wagons traveling Houston roads. Now, here's a tip. The best place to view today's parade are on Louisiana from Bell to Lamar and Lamar and Louisiana to Smith. Now, there are several downtown uh, parking garages, and those are the best spots, according to uh, Livestock Show and Rodeo folks. That's the best spots to park. Now, we are back live. I want to give you another preview of another float. This is the Fiesta float here. Take a look at this with the Texas flag at the back in the shape of the great state of Texas itself. And they have, look at that guitar. Maybe, maybe if they let me later, I can hop on and act like I'm playing. But this is just a preview of what you can expect when the parades begins at 10 o'clock. Reporting live downtown, Roman Belogan, KPRC 2 News. Hey now, thank you, Real Wong.